Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we are doing a Fenrir Wiseman deck profile. So as you know or don't know, Fenrir Wiseman is basically the only competitive version of Genesis out right now. This could change with the whole Minerva thing. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, this is the only somewhat a viable deck in Japan it tops all the fucking time here it almost tops never because it's very annoying to pilot the actual wise man loop where you swing five times with 150,000 is relatively easy to do in a controlled environment however once you start playing against actually good players and against actually good counters it becomes really really hard to actually pilot that deck consistently and so that's why we never see it topping takes quite a bit of skill right there so we start off with four of the original wise man we want to be riding this guy he basically allows you to get your wise man himself out of your soul if you don't manage to draw into it and apart from that he also soul charges very consistently which we absolutely need we also have four wise man he's the ace of the deck if you don't know the combo let me know when i can do a combo video for it regardless he will just swing five times with 150k and uh, automatically win the game for you right there it's actually like gize but it actually requires skill and doesn't rely 100 percent on rng <laughs> we also run three of this guy because his actual controlled soul charging is actually really good he gives you what you need in hand something like your heels because your heels are actually your unbrick engine your heels are what will allow you to take stuff that was in your drop zone and then put it back into the soul where it belongs like your tarot he will either give you the heals or soul charge what you actually need then we run the witch engine which is basically eight witches the only great twos you run so you can use a certain crit to start soul charging way earlier on it's the most consistent version of the deck these witches skills actually don't matter this one does because the consistent soul charge is very good but this one is completely irrelevant regardless you just run it for the name witch right there which you really need ha 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 good pun four of this pg you could run the unflipper both work both have their own uses i like the added soul charge because you do want to go through the deck very fast so that you get that wise Man loop on second stride consistently for stride fodder we i know we run an insane amount of grade threes already but we really need stride fodder to get the correct grade three and so this together with your large amount of grade threes will actually ensure that you always have the correct one in hand then four of this he's basically the loop enabler well he doesn't actually start the loop of attacking but he does start the loop of power ups you need four of this in the deck best card easily and you always want to make sure that by second stride you have four of this in your soul so you can start the loop one side note for the great twos by the way i actually forgot to mention you can run poker so the second we get the whole we get the whole chaos new thing we will be running two poker maybe even four because it's really important but do keep in mind this deck only needs that one open rearguard circle to function we have two valencia just the same as the witch gray 2 and then one of this little shit it's literally a shit i mean just to get around head around in the negro lily combo combo i could def definitely cut this right now because you really don't need this there are no ztb and grand blue decks anymore in the meta uh the second they come back this will go back as well four of this crit which together with your witches actually starts your early soul charging if you don't run the witch engine you don't run this crit but it's actually really really good same reason for running the or grade 3 Fenrir it allows you to start soul charging way more efficiently so this whole deck is actually based on getting the loop off rather than going half-assed into revelation and stuff this deck does the loop end of story three draws soul charges as well and you want to get the loop off as I said one of this for if everything goes terribly wrong um, personally you could cut it with ease and then just hope everything works out but if everything goes wrong this guy exists for taro an insanely good stand that makes all of this possible she is basically what allows your wise man to stand five times because when she is soul blasted out a card of yours can re-stand and so wise man says during his attack he can soul blast something to get power so what you just do is you soul blast this out he restands during his attack the attack ends and then he can swing again and you just do that four times however upon activation of her effect she goes back into the deck and because your deck is actually only one card left after your loop you will have these on the bottom with one card on top and then when your vanguard swings you will check a non-trigger 
and then two of this restanding your Wiseman yet again. So you actually have six Wiseman swings, but generally they'll be dead before that. Four of this heal doesn't actually matter that you run this one. I'm actually more excited for the new one because that will allow you to counter charge. And this deck does need counter charge because your counter charge will allow you to loop this together with Taro and that way fix your deck on second stride way faster. The more counter charge you have, the less likely you are to brick on this one. So you saw it already getting into the G zone. We run two of this. He is your second stride generally. Some people go for him first stride. I get why. He is the stride on which you do your loop. He allows you to fix a lot of things you need to fix in order to get your wise man loop off. Two tier. He's generally your first stride. He just allows you to soul charge an insane amount to a point where you could deck out almost and then second stride you go into him and start the loop. You generally don't really need any of your other cards in this deck. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Uh, as for G guards, we have this and this. Uh, doesn't really matter either because this is where it's at. This deck bricks the second you don't hit your as big of an amount as possible of your stand and your grade one to get your loop off. And so if they are in the damage zone, you want to heal them into drop or if they're in your hand, you want to guard with them to then use this G guard to put them back into soul so that you have your four copies of both cards in the soul ready to do your loop and automatically win the game unless Denial Griffin. Regardless, even Denial Griffin doesn't completely stop this deck because you could have two wise men and then just pump the power on both. You could have a 70k and a 70k and just do your things regardless. So they would need two Denial Griffins to actually stop this combo from working. That was it for this wise man deck. I hope you found this interesting. If you want me to make a loop combo video where I just go over that ridiculous loop, I could, but you do have to let me know because actually, Every single time I do a combo video, YouTube punishes me for it because not everyone is interested in them, not everyone clicks. And so if you have even just one not well-performing video, a lot of your subscribers will stop seeing your videos. So when people are wondering like, oh, he's posting less of this kind of content, it's literally because YouTube will fuck me in the arse if I do. If I make too many of these interesting combo videos, well, interesting, clearly they're not because not everyone is clicking, then less subscribers will see the video. And after a while, those subscribers won't even see any of my videos because your feed is populated by what you watch consistently. I can do the loop, but then I need to have enough people telling me, yes, I want to see it and yes, I will watch it. So. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to the Solemn Vanger channel and click that bell button because that will actually ensure that you get my videos regardless of fucking YouTube fucking everyone over. Let me know in the comments what you want to, to see me do next. Like the video if you liked the video and I will see you soon. Ciao.